Listen to them, children of the night. What music they make! <laughs> What we watch after dark. My name's Nathan, aka the Midnight Joker, and today I will be reviewing the 1931 film Dracula with one and only Bela Lugosi. So let's go ahead, and we know that Bela Lugosi's in it. Todd Browning is the director. Um, Carl Fidu is uh, an a director as well on this film, but he didn't get credit in the in the credits. The writers are Bram Stoker, Hamilton Dinez, uh, Dina, and John L. Blattert Tun. Uh, for the actors that came in for this, we had Bella Lugosi has Count Dracula, Helen Chandler has Mia. David Manners has John Hackard, and one of the greater performances in this, Dwight Fry has <laughs> Redfield. Edward Van Slogan has Van Housing, Herbert Bonstoon, Dr. Stewart, Francis Dade, Lucy. And Joan Standing as the maid. But anyway, let's go ahead and watch the trailer real quickly. And then after that, I'll talk about some of the fun trivia I found out about it. I was looking in the mirror. Its reflection covers the whole room. But I cannot see you. Dracula? What's he done to you? Tell me, dear, what's he done to you? He came to me. He opened a vein in his wrist and he made me drink. Welcome back. That was fun looking, wasn't it? It's a great movie. I'm going to go ahead and give the rating for this movie. I'm going to go ahead and give it a nine. Um, it's not a perfect 10, uh, but it's one of the first talkie films, which is what they used to call uh, after silent films. Films with sound were called talkies. Bela Lugosi actually started playing Dracula on stage and did 261 stage performances. And then was interested to keep his success going by having this movie made. About 1927 is when uh, the Great Depression started. All the big plan budgets that they had for this movie went to shit. And they only spent... Uh, it says they spent $355,000... It only made $85,000 back, but it's such a classic. Bela Lugosi does a fantastic job. We see things, we see first of its kind using like pinholes on Bela Lugosi's eyes to show like a more creepier. There is actually a silent film that part of it was put in. It was uh, released in 1925. And it's the part when they're coming from Transylvania to London in a boat, but that they shot no boat scenes or anything. It was from Stormbreaker, a movie, a silent movie that they had done before. So that was kind of interesting. 
Uh, if you look at the silent movie part of it, it kind of glitches a little bit because silent films didn't run at the same speed as uh, what they called talkies at the time. After playing Renfield, Dwight Fry would find himself typecast. He found himself restricted to playing eccentric, jittery characters that had manic edge uh, to them for criminal lunacy types. Uh, people think that Bela Lugosi uh, did not speak English at the time, or the rumor was it wasn't that good. No, it was as good as it was ever going to get by that time. He did have to take direction for the film in French, which is interesting. Todd Browning showed little interest in directing the film, even though he was the director. <sighs> Um, but his friend Lon Chaney had died real recently afterwards, and Lon Chaney was set up to Dracula. So he was uh, really upset and distraught and pretty much drunk. This is this film is generally regarded as a horror film that kind of started things up at Universal uh, for horror films. Afterwards, we end up with for the Wolfman, the Invisible Man. It's all kinds of uh, neat stuff. Yeah, Carl. Uh, Ferdon is actually the cinematographer and because the director just didn't give a shit he they went ahead and said oh okay well then I'll do it in the movie uh, Dracula never blinks once an effect that enhances the undead character the interesting thing is also that the beginning uh, music that's playing is actually the second act of Swan Lake so that's interesting, too. The movie line, listen to them, children of the night, what you, what music they make, was voted as the 83rd movie quote by American Film Institute. And actually, uh, when Bela Lugosi died, uh, he was uh, buried in a silk cape. It was not one from Dracula. It was one that he had from other uh, appointments. The Dracula cape actually is in a museum uh, for, like, I think, uh, Universal Horror Films or something like that. I, you know, if you know where the Dracula cape is, go ahead and tell me down below. And if you want to tell me anything, please do. The neck, uh, the neck order worn by Dracula is not the Star of David, and a lot of people think thinks that it is. I guess that just kind of... Anyway, several folklore elements often associate with Dracula are not visible in this film. At no point does Dracula display his fans. Also, the famous vampire bite marks on the neck were never shown. Shown neither, although twice the character examined victims' necks do talk about the mark bites, yeah. Van Housing, and the guy that plays Van Housing and Bela Lugosi both worked on the stage play together. I believe he played Van Housing. Uh, we don't even see Van Housing for the first 31 minutes of the film. You know, again, the beginning of the Great Depression in 1929 was when this was uh, being filmed to 1931. You know, they really were out of money and they decide to adapt the stage play as opposed to the book to save money leave it you know hollywood is old as its producers man the very first time that he played dracula was in a theater in fulton theater on october 5th 1927 and don't forget he had 261 more performances after that or including that. But I like this film. I think it holds up. It's, it can be eerie. I mean, there's only one other time that Bela Lugosi plays Dracula in a movie. Now he plays tons of vampires. That's my thoughts. I like the movie. I give it a strong nine. I uh, suggest that you watch it this Halloween it is uh, 13 and above, so you might not want to show the younger kiddos, but if they're 13 and above, then have a great Halloween watching this. Anyway, uh, I wanted to say thank you to everybody again. I'm at 
241 subscribers. I really appreciate it. If you don't mind, it really helps me if you subscribe. So please subscribe and like this video if you liked it, you know. Uh, but if you can only feel like you can subscribe because you only got the effort for one button, go for that. Anyway, guys, I love you. And I wish that you love yourself every single day. And you always got to get you some. Hee <laughs>